One thing that I would call your attention to would be the temperature effect on fuel cell performance. Depend on what type of fuel cell, the temperature may have small effect or very large effect. First, let's look at the PEM fuel cell, polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell or proton exchange membrane fuel cell, quite often used for automobile application. Here we show the change of voltage versus current density, a JV curve for this a PEM fuser operated from 50 degrees C all the way to 90 degrees C. 50 degrees C all the way to 90 degrees C. And uh, as you see, okay, as you see, there's not much change. There's not much change as the temperature uh, is, operation temperature is changed. And actually, in this case, the, as the temperature increases, slightly the current doesn't really increase or decrease it's more or less the same higher temperature not much change in performance that's quite often the case for a pm fuel cell in comparison for high temperature fuel cells such as solid oxide fuel cell this is the example for the same voltage versus current density plot voltage versus current density plot and you see as we the temperature changes from 800 to 700 to 600 you see the current and as a result the power the maximum power drops dramatically drops dramatically for the same cell voltage the current drops dramatically even though the equilibrium cell potential or OCV is more or less the same always around 1.1 volt but as the temperature decreases for the same terminal voltage the current density drops dramatically by three five times okay always in the other way higher temperature much higher performance so this gives us a lot to to consider or constraint to to operate the fuel cell. For example, for PEM fuel cell, uh, you operate them in the ambient temperature range, and in that range you have a wide window to operate it. But on the other hand, for solid oxide fuel cell, you want to operate it at higher temperature. But on the other hand, you cannot operate at too high temperature because at too high temperature, 800 or above, the material start to experience um, much faster degradation and many other issues. Okay, that's another constraint for different types of fuel cell.